Hello everyone, it's Becky here and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to new type video. Today's video I'm going to do is called the Kerter... 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 Kenterbury... Kerten... Kenter... Zanter... Zanterbury... The Kenterbury... Ken... The Canterbury Tales book tag. You know what? <laughs> This tag was originally created by AJ Dan Reads and Writes and I'm very excited to do so because it's a longer tag but with very lovely questions. So without further ado, I'm just gonna start right away. So the question number one says The host is the character who relays the tales to the reader. He is large, loud and merry. Recommend a mammoth book over 800 pages for March of the Mammoth. I'm gonna say Alexandre Dimas' The Count of Monte Cristo because it's absolutely lovely book. Uh, it's over 1000 pages, but it depends what kind of edition you have, but the one I was listening to as audiobook was over 1000 pages. So I'm definitely gonna recommend this one. The Knight stands for the fighting, war and bravery. Recommend a book with a courageous main character. The one that pops to my mind immediately would be I am a Malala, which is absolutely amazing and inspirational story about the young girl who was not afraid to fight for girls' right for education despite all the threats and all the, well not only threats, but everything she's been through and I just find it very very inspirational. So if you haven't read the book, please give it a go. The Wife of Bath stands for marriage, sex and arguing. Tell us about the book with a strong female character. So here I'm gonna recommend the book which has more than one female character which is very strong and brave and I'm going to mention the book called The Queens of Animation which is absolutely amazing story about a woman who worked in Walt Disney Studios as animators from the very beginning when they started to do movies such as Snow White and Bambi and it describes their whole life and how they managed to get to that workplace in the first place and everything they has been through and how they were treated by male colleagues and I found it very inspirational because it describes how they were able to keep their position in such a male-dominated industry and everything they had to sacrifice for this job and it's just absolutely wonderful so if you like to read about strong women if you also like filmmaking if you like Disney movies highly recommend you to give it a go question number four the partner is all about ambiguity tell us about your favorite queer character I'm gonna say Felix from Felix Ever After because it's absolutely wonderful book about a young boy who is becoming an adult and it's the first time he falls in love but everything he needs to go through as a queer person and it's just very touching and lovely story and I think it's important to read stories like this because it was absolutely wonderful and it really opened my eyes in different um, themes and topics which I did not really pay attention to before so Felix Ever After and character of Felix. Alright, next question. The Prioners is modest, quiet and compassionate. Recommend a book you don't hear much about on booktube. Highland Witch and I don't know why because Highland Witch is absolutely beautiful, wonderful, amazing, sweet, lovely book and I highly recommend you to pick it up if you haven't yet because it's a book about the young witch who lives in the Scottish Highlands in the past and it's absolutely wonderful. If you like to read about nature or Scotland or witches, witchcraft, please pick this book up. And I was very surprised because when I got this book um, and I was trying to find some reviews or some recommendation or anything about this book, I think I found maybe two or three videos in total on booktube and I don't know why because it's absolutely amazing so please check the book out. Question number seven. The monk cares little for the rule of the work and prayer. Tell us about an unconventional character. Uh, the Keeper of Lost Things is a book which has absolutely lovely character who uh, started to collect everything he found whether it was in the shop or on the street just everything people lost and he was collecting these things taking them home and writing stories about those things and he was hoping that one day he can return the items to their owners and he was doing this because he wanted to reconnect with his wife who passed away on the day he lost something on his own so it's absolutely interesting and lovely character and really unconventional um, and I would highly recommend you to check this book out as well because it's absolutely absolutely beautiful Okie doke, question number eight. The Friars is all about confession. Confess to us. Have you read a Bible, Torah, Koran or other religious texts all the way through? Well, not all the way through, but the Bible is the one which I've been reading quite a big parts of it. The summoner is lecherous and... Can you hear the birds? It's absolutely wonderful. The summoner is a lecherous and drunk who tries to sound more educated than he is. Tell us about the book that sounded better than it was. Great Gatsby. I was so excited to read Great Gatsby because I heard absolutely wonderful reviews and it's classic and it's by Francis Scott Fitzgerald so I was very excited to read the book but didn't meet my expectation I, I must say unfortunately. 
Question number 10. The person is poor but rich in thoughts and deeds. Tell us about the book that gave you more than you expected. Little Paris Bookshop. Little Paris Bookshop is absolutely wonderful, sweet and lovely book but kind of difficult to read depending on what stage in your life are you finding yourself in because this is a book about love and about broken heart and how that heart learns to function again after being ripped into pieces. So not easy read for some people depending as I said what are you going through but it's absolutely beautiful book and yeah it, it's wonderful. The Squire stands for youth, beauty and courting. What book did you fall in love with when you were a youth? Well I'm not gonna lie it's going to be Twilight because Twilight came out when I was I mean the first movie that came out when I was ending the primary school so I might have been like what 11 12 or something and then immediately I wanted to read the books and I absolutely loved them because you know huge love story and vampires and it was amazing but I cannot stand the movies I must say I no, like movies are just so bad and I'm so sorry to say it but not movies but the books yeah Twilight would be the answer. Question number 12. The clerk says little but his words are wise and morally virtuous. Tell us about the short book that made you a better person. So here I'm gonna say um, Príbehy pre potešenie duše by Bruno Ferrero. I know I still don't know how is it called in English but I will do my best to try and find it. But it's a book which is written by a Catholic priest and writer and it's a lovely book which contains short stories with like deeper thoughts and things to think about regarding relationships like marriage and siblings relationships friendships all kind of relationship and now the second book came out which I mentioned in a couple of my previous videos because it has absolutely wonderful illustrations done by Lenka Javorska who is a Slovak illustrator and it's absolutely beautiful so yeah príbehy pre potešenie duše. The man of law upholds justice and knows the law by heart. What is a book you could not imagine rereading? Well, in general, I must say I do not reread books very often. The only one I do reread was maybe Three Musketeers and then Jane Eyre. But I feel like right now I'm in the point in my life when I realize that there are so many books I just want to read which I haven't read yet. And because I'm a slower reader and I read much less than other people do or even like other booktubers, I'm not even gonna talk about it because I read really a little number of the books per month and I just feel like I know that you have books which when you reread them they are like really masterpieces and every time you read them you find something new there and you can you know discover some new parts of the book and new meanings but I feel like at this point I want to wait with rereading books and now I want to just read new books so yeah. The Manciple provides the food. Recommend a series you think is good from the first book to the last. I haven't read many series. Series? series series so I cannot say the only one I read would be Twilight which I'm not gonna mention for this question but yeah I, I don't know the merchant deals in force and clothes and is powerful and wealthy recommend a book with a powerful message or theme life on our planet which is a book I think every single human being should read because it is a book written by David Attenborough and in this book he describes how our planet changed over the course of last decades i think it started in 1930s when he started to work for bbc and since that moment he is describing how our planet changes every year and how much damage <laughs> and destruction are we people bringing to our planet and what we should do to try stopping it and also what will happen to our planet if we keep living the way we do. So it's very terrifying at the moment but I think it's really important that we read books like this, we watch documentaries about this topic and also try to do some action towards this because yeah life on our planet would be definitely the book I think everyone should read. Question number 16. The shipman is wine stealing rascal. Tell us about a side character who steals the spotlight. Well I cannot speak for the books because I haven't read them but just from the series I've been watching obviously Game of Thrones the first person that comes to my mind would be Tyrion Lannister. Um, because I think that at the beginning it was the character of whom I thought that well yeah he seems interesting but I don't think it's a big deal for the story but well as we know he happened to be one of the most important characters in the series um, and I think the reason why I thought of him is that because recently I've been to cinema to see Cyrano which is absolutely amazing film and Peter Dinklage in that role oh my goodness fabulous amazing wonderful if you follow me on the instagram you know i've been praising the film already there if you haven't seen it yet please do so because oh my goodness it was so good question number 17 the fishes fi fishes english physician 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 <laughs> 
The physician knows what ails you and can cure you. Tell us about the book you consider a comfort read. I would say Three Musketeers, but also I would say books by Daphne du Maori, although those are filled with like suspense and a little bit of thriller vibes, but I love her books and I love her writing. And then I also have a video which speaks about my comfort reads and comfort books, so I'm gonna link it to the description down below. Same with the video about Daphne du Maori's books, which is completely unrelated to this, but I'm so happy because I realized recently that it's a video which has the most views on my channel and that makes me so happy because so many people commented there how much they like her books and that they discover some new books to read through that video and I'm just so so happy. So yeah you can check those as well. Question number 18. The Franklin is not a vassal or a noble but a free man. Recommend a book about freedom in any form. I think this is a little tri tricky question because you really can think of freedom in many different ways but here I'm gonna mention the book again The Count of Monte Cristo because it covers the theme of freedom in physical uh, meaning, so when our main character was trying to get out of the prison, but then also in the higher metaphorical sense of freedom, because he was trying to clear his name and be a free man for himself, but also for the world and how other people were perceiving himself. So I think it's a very good example. And then also one more book that pops to my mind would be Educated by Tara Westover, which is a memo memoir book. And I think it's a very important book as well, because this one speaks about freedom not necessarily physically, but about how you sometimes need to free yourself from people in your life, despite the fact it's difficult, but at certain point in your life you realize that those people, no matter how close you are with them, they're just not good for you for different reasons. So I would say educated as well. Question 19. The reef is believable on the outside, but lies on the inside. What book was different than what the blurb led you to believe? Ocean at the end of the lane. I don't remember exactly what I was thinking or what I remembered from the blurb, but when reading the book I felt it's something something completely different from what I was expecting. So yeah, Ocean at the end of the lane. The Plowman is good-hearted and faithful. What book do you read over and over again? Three Musketeers. <laughs> the, <gu> the Guildsmen are five men who acts as a unit and stands for brotherhood. Recommend a book with a strong assemble of cast of characters. For example, Harry Potter and then Three Musketeers. I should really start some sort of competition and ask you guys to count how many times did I mention Three Musketeers in my videos because <laughs> this is getting out of the hand. Okay, the cook makes the food that feeds you. Tell us about the book that feeds your soul, Pillow Thoughts. Pillow Thoughts, it's a book collection of poetry which I discovered last year and I'm so in love with this collection of poetry because I, I know nothing about poetry but this book really spoken to me on like so many different levels and I absolutely loved it. I mentioned it in a couple of my previous videos. If you haven't seen it, please find the book, check them out because they are wonderful. It's a collection of poetry about love, different forms of love and different stages of love from the moment you just try to think of someone, dream of someone, then when you are actually in a relationship and all the feelings that comes with it and then also when the love ends. <clears throat> excuse me, when the love ends and all the pain and feeling you are dealing with and then when you're trying to move on. So basically all stages of mostly like romantic love but also love towards yourself and I just found so many things that spoken to me in these books and I'm so sorry I could not bring them here with me because I love them and I would love to have it here but you know luggage space. So I don't have it here but yeah pillow thoughts definitely fits my soul. The young man serves you. Tell us about the book that served its purpose, did what you wanted it to do. It wasn't great and it wasn't bad. Right, so I haven't finished the book yet, but I think I have this feeling about The Nature of Witches, which is a book which I'm doing as a buddy read with Rosica. It's a book which I really enjoy reading, despite the fact that in the same time I feel like there is nothing really happening, but I still do want to keep reading the book. So I'm hoping that there would be some bigger surprise or twist at the end, but so far I would say Nature of Witches. The second nun talks about the saint's life in her tale. What book do you praise often? Please answer the question 24 for me in the comments. What is the book I'm praising so often on my channel? Because you know. <laughs> Okay, and the last question is, the nun's priest is witty and doesn't take himself too seriously. Recommend a book that has a funny or witty main character. The one that comes to my mind would be Gabriel de Leon from The Empire of the Vampire because it's a character who is supposed to be very serious and he is dealing with a lot of serious stuff, but the way he acts and presents himself, I just found it very witty and funny. Um, 
might be because I had it as audiobook and the narrator was absolutely brilliant so it might be because of his performance I haven't read the physical book so I cannot compare it but yeah definitely the first one I could think of would be Gabriel de Leon from the Empire of the Vampire right so those are all the tags all the questions all the prompts and the very last one says to tag some booktube pilgrims which is something I'm not gonna do this time because I know that AJ tagged quite a lot of people and I'm sure that everyone will want to do it as soon as possible so um, if there is anyone who wants to do it and hasn't been tagged please consider yourself tagged and do it um, and without further ado I will just say bye take care thank you very much for watching and please answer the question 24 which is the book I'm praising the most on this channel and if there is anything else you would like to mention in the comments or say in the comments or just say hi please do so because I would love to chat with you in the comments so without further ado thank you very much take care and I will see you with another video very soon bye